Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Left, and I'm back here in Destiny, floating, forever, falling. It's Friday, it's Zer Day. We're in the reef? This hasn't happened in a while. So Zer is going to be down here, the only place he can spawn in the reef. Now I know what you're thinking. Damn, son. You look fine as hell, but what about that helmet? I'm wearing the helmet of Malak because it's 318, and my desolate helm is... 314, but full desolate armor. So, Zer is right here. With him, he's got the Helm of Saiyan 14 for the Titans. You can blind enemies in your Ward of Dawn. Increased intellect and strength on here, so personally I'd go with intellect because it benefits your exotic perk more. Ashes to assets and heavy lifting. Probably go ashes to assets on this one. And invigoration, gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Always a good thing to have. Definitely a good helmet. Um, I always found it useful when a Titan was running this, especially in Year 1 Prison of Elders. Why did that take me so long to figure out what I was trying to say? And uh, all the Year 1 raids. So it's definitely a good helmet. Definitely pick that up. For the Hunters, we are getting the Young, young Ahamkara Spine. Gives you two trip mines and better trip mines. Does not look good with its armor set. Increased intellect and increased discipline. I would definitely go discipline on these just because it's going to benefit your exotic perk more. You'll be able to have more trip mines faster, be able to throw them everywhere. Fastball and impact induction, bonus grenade energy on melee hits, or increased grenade throw distance. I would probably go this one. I don't know. Um, both of these are kind of odd choices. I would much prefer something that bo boosts my super energy, but I would probably go fastball just so you can hail Mary your trip mines. And hopefully get a kill. Hand cannon loader and shotgun loader, both definitely good. Um, personally, I'll be using... If I got these, I would be using the hand cannon loader because I'm running a 317 Hawkmoon. And I don't really use shotguns all that often. But if you are a shotgun user and not a hand cannon user, I would definitely say go for the shotgun one. For the Warlocks, we've got the Starfire Protocol. Excuse me, currently dying, it's fine. It's going to give you basically Gift of the Sun, allowing you, but only for fusion grenades, allowing you to use um, other grenades. Now I know currently this is not in the Sun Singer meta because fire bolts are still just super strong, and with Viking Funeral, they're an absolute cheese, so whatever. Increased discipline and increased strength would go discipline on this because it is a grenade based super, or grenade based exotic, so I'd pick that up. In, uh, special ammo and heavy ammo, um. It's snipers and rockets. I would probably go snipers if you enjoy sniping. They, their reserves and reserves have been cut down a lot, and even with a boost, you can carry. I personally can carry about seventeen, which is only two more than what I can normally carry. Arc burn defense and solar armor, which is odd to put together. So you're gonna have reduced incoming arc burn damage or increased armor when using a solar based subclass. I mean that's good for this because you're not going to use it with a non-solar based subclass. You're going to be using this for the Sunsinger, so there's that for you. The weapon for the first time ever is going to be the Bad Juju. This is a great pulse rifle, especially with as strong as pulse rifles are currently. It fires in full auto. Definitely some good stuff. Got a good hip fire. Armor piercing rounds to boost that. Impact, send it, and perfect balance. Probably go perfect balance. And string of curses allowing you to it reloads after a kill, and it boosts your super about 10% every per kill. So you can have your, if you take this into the crucible, you can have your super super fast and a lot more than normal. Um, if you take it into literally anything, you'll have your super almost every like 12 seconds. Especially like PoE or uh, King's Fall, anything with a lot of mobs, you're going to have your super pretty quick and you can just spam it. Our engram is a legacy special engram, so if you don't have any of the year one exotics from Prison of Elders or what have you, you can go ahead and buy that and decrypt them. Down here for your blue sparrows to turn them legendary, you've got the plasma drive and the void drive, heavy ammo synthesis, three of coins and glass needles, and then your material exchange down here as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this, buy me a few of these. I'm also, this is going to seem really dumb, I haven't had a had Juju drop, nor have I ever used my marks to print one, so I'm just gonna kind of buy uh, this, so, yeah. 
But that's going to do it for me today, guys. Let me know what you picked up. Um, did you never get the juju to drop? Did you just buy from Zer like I did? Did you just buy a shit ton of three of coins and now literally the only thing that's going to drop is a bad juju for you? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I'm left, and I'll see you guys back here inside of Destiny.